Is that cell you've got. If you've got a Mark 1, 2 cell, it has a little bracket that you lift off, so you have to take the nut off and lift the bracket off. What you do there is put the nut back on. On this one, a Mark 3 and above, it's like a, a retained... It swivels out. So it swivels out, shove it round, so it's now clamping the plate down. Makes your life easier for when you're taking the fan out and putting it back. Mm -hmm. So now you can disconnect your fan, fan swings out, and out it comes. While well, you've still got that in place, disconnect your electrodes. Because if you leave, take that nut off, what's then happening is that plate's moving about. When you're pulling on them electrodes, the electrodes will start moving. Internally. So that's the way to do it. Disconnect the rest of your wiring while, you, while you've got your fan out. So now you can actually, we can actually check that out without disturbing all else. We can leave that as is. And then under here, you've got a retaining bolt. And it is a retaining bolt, this, it, there's no seal on it. It's literally holding the cell in place. So there's no seal on that, I hope, like that. Disconnect your floor. And then you're going to disconnect your flue from down here. How easy that is. So you don't actually take the flue out? Hmm? No, you leave the flue in place. Disconnect your overheat stack. Now then in the book, it actually tells you to take that off there. Don't. It's the only time I say don't read the instruction book. Leave that in place. Because if you take that off, what happens then the return part starts moving. And you've got to get that joint apart. When you're trying to prise it up, it will actually move the return part. That's a retaining clip that holds the return in place. Okay. So all you do then, get your screwdriver underneath there. Pop it up. Now in real life, that is not going to do that that easily, but it will come out. And can you see how that's damaged there? All the time. At the end, because I've taken it out loads of times. But at the end of the day, if you damage that, the new cell comes with that sump on. So it doesn't matter if you damage it. Then on the back, where well, it's popped out, and all you do is that. That's your cell out. When you're putting it back in. You've got this little bracket here, which goes into there. Slots it and down. Yeah, so you've got to lift it up and drop it down. If you don't get it in there, believe you me, when you come to fire it up, if you are going to in there, you'll know about it. Because it'll make a hell of a racket. You want to put it back? Yeah. Mike Mackey working on a Worcester. So you've sort of got to get that in. So, because you're going to lift it right up and get it in that bracket at the back. We've got that seat. You try and pull it forward, you're not going to do When you come to put it back, the weight of the cell will, will drop it onto the return part. It will literally drop it straight on. And that won't be hard work to do. You put new o on, grease it up, and it will, the weight...